Americans consume more than 6 billion pounds of spaghetti every year, making it one of the most beloved staples in households across the country. But have you ever wondered how these thin golden noodles make their way from a humble grain of wheat to your dinner plate? Today we take you behind the scenes of a large-scale spaghetti production facility where efficiency, precision, and craftsmanship come together to create this timeless favorite. The story of spaghetti begins not in the kitchen, but in vast, sun-drenched fields of Durham wheat, where nature and modern machinery work in harmony. Every June, wheat fields in places like Canada, the United States, and Australia sparkle with gold as harvest time approaches. Here, towering combine harvesters equipped with razor-sharp blades cut the wheat at the base, retaining only the highest quality grains while discarding the stalks. These harvesters, capable of harvesting more than 90 tons of wheat per hour, helped fuel the growth of the pasta industry. After harvest, wheat begins a new chapter when it is transported to industrial pasta factories where the transformation from raw grain to refined spaghetti begins. Once at the factory, the wheat is stored in large silos, where it is kept dry and protected until it is ready to begin the transformation process. From the silos, the wheat is transferred to an initial cleaning stage, where high-performance cleaning equipment removes rocks, dust, soil, and other foreign materials. This step is critical to ensuring that only the purest grains enter the production cycle. Next, the cleaned wheat is processed and sent to the mill's milling department. Here, a network of automated rollers and sifters systematically crush the grains, separating the outer bran layer from the nutrient-rich endosperm. The resulting product is semolina flour, a coarse yellow flour that forms the basis of high-quality pasta. Thanks to advanced milling technology, the process is fine-tuned to ensure uniform grain size, consistent texture, and minimal waste. The final refining of the semolina flour removes any remaining traces of bran or impurities, resulting in a clean, smooth flour ready to be turned into pasta. Once the semolina is prepared, it is transferred to the mixing area, where it is mixed with water, and in some cases, eggs and additional nutrients, to form flour. Industrial mixers, some capable of handling several tons of ingredients at a time, knead the mixture to the perfect consistency Achieving the correct water to semolina ratio is essential, as it directly affects the texture, elasticity, and suitability of the dough for extrusion. Mm -hmm. 
Factories can also enrich the flour with vitamins and minerals, ensuring that the final product not only tastes great, but also meets nutritional standards. Before being shaped into spaghetti, the dough is first extruded into large sheets. This intermediate step is important for ensuring even moisture distribution, reducing air bubbles, and preparing the dough for precise shaping. The sheets are then fed into a powerful extruder equipped with specially designed dies, metal plates with multiple holes that shape the dough into long, thin spaghetti strands. The material and design of the dies have a significant impact on the texture and cooking performance of the pasta and modern factories rely on advanced sensors to monitor this process in real time. After extrusion, the fresh spaghetti noodles are transported throughout the facility on specialized racks. These racks, which are integrated into a complex network of automated conveyors, are designed to prevent the delicate noodles from breaking or tangling. The spaghetti is hung vertically on bars or hooks, moving seamlessly through the next stage, drying. This is a critical part of the process in which the spaghetti passes through multiple drying chambers that carefully regulate temperature, humidity, and airflow. The controlled drying not only ensures a long shelf life, but also helps preserve the ideal texture and flavor of the pasta. Once the spaghetti is completely dried, it heads to the cutting station, where high-speed automated cutters cut the noodles to the desired length. Precision is key here, as length uniformity is essential for both packaging and presentation. From there, the spaghetti is carefully grouped into standardized portions. Advanced machines align and bundle the noodles without causing breakage, thanks to sophisticated handling systems that handle the pasta with remarkable care. These grouped pieces are then fed into high-speed packaging units. Whether the spaghetti is to be wrapped in plastic or cardboard, the packaging material is automatically dispensed from large rolls or stacks, then cut and sealed tightly around each piece. Real-time labeling machines print and label the necessary information on each package, including weight, nutritional information, and expiration date. These labels are not only informative, but also comply with all relevant food safety standards and regulations. If you enjoyed learning about the complex journey of spaghetti making, be sure to like this video and share your thoughts in the comments below. 
And of course, hit that subscribe button to follow us for more interesting insights into the incredible world of agriculture and food production.